Today we will present you the possible lineup that coach Pioli will use during this season. The first thing to note is that Pioli prefers playing a 4-3-3 system, just as previous Milan head coaches Montella and Gattuso did. He has been known to deploy a 4-2-3-1 at times, but the way his midfield three functions is to allow one of the trio to roam forward and create anyway, so there is not a huge difference between the two. Here is a player-by-player -player breakdown of how we think Milan's Zai will look under Pioli. As goalkeeper Gigi Donnarumma. Little needs to be said here. The best goalkeeper in Italy, one of the best in the world and as Boban rightly said recently. A leader within this team despite his young age. As right-back defender Calabria. Looking at the way Pioli prefers to set up his back four, he tends to like having one full back who focuses more on the defensive side of things. This forms almost a back three and gives license for the other, generally better attacking full back to get into dangerous areas up the pitch. While Calabria's defending has been rightly questioned in the past, he is better than Andrea Conti when it comes to a number of things like positional awareness and tracking runners. Plus it justifies who we believe will start at left back. As central defender Musacchio, but in future can play Caldara when he will be on top form. The incoming head coach likes having two powerful and commanding defenders, which makes us think he will lean on Musacchio, at least until Caldara comes back. The Argentine has been somewhat of a comfort blanket, both for Gattuso and Gimpalo, and his experience in Italy will likely give him the nod over Leo Duarte. However, once Caldara is fit and ready to go in November the pair will be assessed, and we believe that the Italian has a better chance of starting. Central defender Romagnoli Similar to Donnarumma there is not much to be said about Romagnoli. He's the club captain, one of the best center backs in the league, and he will give Pioli a solid starting foundation. It will be interesting though to see if the way he communicates and cooperates with his partner changes, as so far this season under Gimpalo, there has been times when the central back pairing has looked lost. As left defender Teo Hernandez. With Calabria on the right side, Hernandez is primed to be given a starting spot. As mentioned, Pioli likes playing with three and a half at the back that is having three very capable defenders, plus one who will contribute in both facets of the game. The Frenchman brushed aside a disappointing game against Fiorentina to score the equalizer at Genoa on Saturday, and under a new coach he could thrive once his responsibilities won and off the ball are properly aligned. As central defensive midfielder Lucas Bilia. Pioli likes to play with a regista sitting in front of the back four, a player who will be the pivot and the base for which attacks can be started out from the back. While Benesser is obviously a huge candidate for this role, again we feel like the new boss is more likely to go with experience and someone whom he knows well from his time at Lazio. Perhaps though, on that last point, Pioli can help get out of Bilia what Milan have been unable to so far and recreate his form with the capital club. Bright midfielder Frank Kessi. Just as with the back four, Pioli's midfield is all about covering all the necessary qualities to achieve a balance. Kessi has not really hit form yet this season under Gimpalo, though he did score the penalty which won the game last weekend in Genoa. However, with the Ivorian back to his more familiar role in a midfield three with outlets to the left, in front and overlapping. The physicality that Kessi brings is an important asset, and the hope has to be that Pioli can get him back to his best. Left midfielder Lucas Paqueta. As mentioned the midfield is about striking a balance, and this is where the more creative edge comes in. Gimpalo saw Paqueta as more of a left-sided Mazzala, a position which he could also occupy under Pioli, but he will likely be allowed more freedom to push up the pitch, contribute to attacks and create. As the Brazilian gets forward, this is when we will see the team's shape move towards more of the 4-2-3-1 mentioned earlier. Bright winger Suzo. Many have called for Suzo to be dropped given his recent performances, but the combination of a new coach and not being called up for the Spanish national team should provide a rocket up his backside which is sorely needed. There is no doubt that when in form he is Milan's most important creative force, and playing in a more natural front three should help Suzo to feel comfortable again. Central forward Christophe Piontek Another Rossoneri star in dire need of hitting form again is Piontek, a man who has looked a shadow of the player he was last season. However, there is room for optimism that Pioli can actually help the Poland international. He told Icardi to focus on staying in the 18-yard box and scoring goals, something which will suit Piontek much better. 
Giampaolo wanted Piontek to be a complete perfect striker, but Pioli will tell him just to focus on hitting the back of the net when the service arrives. Left forward Rafael Leo. Leo has been magnificent in what we have seen so far and could very easily nail down that starting spot or even possibly start on the right if Suzo does not perform. As with the midfield and defense, the right mix is key. Suzo provides the technical ability and the dangerous ability, so pace and goal threat should therefore come from the left side.